Still a nation. I just want to point something out. It's kind of good to be 2-0. and All right? Think about it. Going into Atlanta, 18-10. Going into Denver, what did we win? 13-6. Holding your teams under 10 points. It's kind of good to be 2-0. G'day, Steel Nation. Welcome back to Steelers Nation Australia. Just doing a quick video at my local time, 8.13, 8.15 p.m. When you guys wake up in your morning, be like 7 a.m. or 9 a.m. And I might do another live tomorrow, catch up like a post-game reaction and talking about everything. But I do want to come from a very, 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 like I'm a fan in my room, I'm a fan perspective, right? And you look at this, if you were to tell me in the offseason, we would start 2-0, we'd beat the Atlanta Falcons, we'd beat the Broncos, Denver Broncos, and we'd go 2-0, I'd be happy and cheering, which I am. I really am. And I get it. The team doesn't, doesn't look like they're playing the best right now, but you don't have to win the Super Bowl right now. That is in September. Go and play good football. Go on 2-0 record. We've got a big game versus Chargers coming up next week. They're also 2-0. They have a good defense. And I'm going to read some scores too for our uh, uh, you know, points allowed. We've allowed over what? Two games, 16 points. Eight points per average, which is nothing. Our defense is on fire. They've allowed one TD. And of course, if Kirk Cousins and TJ Watt wasn't called for that phantom offside call, the next minute there would have been no TD. It could have been a game of like 18-3, 18-6 last week. Our defense is keeping us in the game. So when I say like we should feel, you know, feel pretty good, we're 2-0, let's celebrate. Yeah, let's celebrate. The Steelers are 2-0. They're playing really good football. Run the rock, offense, sure. Got to catch up, offensive line, penalties, all that kind of stuff. You guys already know where they need to improve on this team, but let's focus on some of the good things that are happening for our 2-0 Steelers. They're, the thing is, they went into Atlanta. Think about that. That was like the revenge game with Arthur Smith. It was it was the the game where uh, I guess we were the underdog and Steelers were going to lose that game. They came out with a victory at W. Chris Boswell, if you've got the emojis, put him in the chat. Chris Boswell got six field goals, three from 50. It made Pittsburgh Steelers history. Uh, the first Steeler to ever get three plus 50-yard field goals. I think he's one of the most accurate kickers now in the league or the most accurate kicking league for 50-yard field goals. Chris Boswell got another 53-yard field goal yesterday, last night. So I feel pretty pumped up. Now, this morning, I woke up at like 6 a.m. in the chat. We had over 65 people in the chat uh, watching the game. So it was, it was insane. But in terms of like, if you were to ask me a few months ago, and we were, would you go, would you love to see 2-0? 100%. They've now gotten two away games out of their system. They went to the went to Falcons, got a W, 18-10. They went to Denver, which, which was meant to be the Russell Wilson uh, what, revenge game as well. Russell Wilson, he, he's, he's either, you know, they're still trying to find him to get into 100%. He's not playing at the moment. Will they play Fields or Wilson? I'm sure every single Steelers podcast in the world will cover that as we go leading into this in, into next week. But we should enjoy the fact that we won and we're 2-0. and And Russell Wilson, yeah, that revenge game was meant to be the Broncos and Sean Payton um, going after him. And by the way, Sean Payton stuffed up. That was so dumb in, in terms of, going down the field to get field goals and should have went for TDs and no one's I'd kick and allowing us to run the clock down for a minute and a half. Absolutely stupid. So people talk about Mike Tomlin and, and his his um, failures. But right now, I want to talk about Mike Tomlin's successes. The reason what the reason why we're 2-0 is because this team is a world coach team and they got the defense ready. The offense is doing just enough to, I feel like too, I feel like when it was 13-0, I feel like the Steelers were like, yeah, we feel we, we feel pretty comfortable. We don't need to turn the ball over. And right now they haven't. I'm going to check the stats in a minute. But we haven't turned the ball over in two games. Knock on wood. We, we, the Steelers have taken away five interceptions uh, or five takeaways. They're doing good things like that. So you have went into Atlanta. You won that game. Crazy, fun game, physical game. Field goals, 18-10. You then go into Denver. Right, the revenge game. You win this game, thirteen six, another good win. Yes, it's not flashy, but I don't know. I don't know if you guys need a, a Steelers Nation Australia fan from Australia to remind you that this is Pittsburgh Steelers football. You run the rock. They run the ball over thirty seven times. Uh, Fields was running the rock too. He was escaping the pocket, getting getting yards. 
Najee was getting three points five six yards per carry. Sure, you want to you want to increase that, but he's running the rock. Warren played a good game. They're running the football, play action pass, getting the ball to Big Darnell. Shout out to Big Darnell. Shout out to him. Got his very first touchdown. That's awesome. And also shout out to Corey Trice who got his interception. And I was doing some listening to to Steelers now, Al, Alan Saunders and Zachary Zachary Smith out there. And they were talking about how Troy Fartano, of course, he played his first game. Zach Frazier in his second game as a rookie. You know, you've had um, uh, un, uh, seventh round pick uh, Anderson fill in. Offensive line isn't the best that can be, but they're doing what, what they what they have right now. They're just flowing with it. And what they're doing is, is moving the, the pile forward. They're getting three tight ends. That is Pruitt, Muth, Washington, uh, sometimes you'll see Connor Haywood there, and they're, they're moving the people. They're, they're, they're people movers. Tom once said, I want to roll people, man. I want to get things done. So this is a very exciting time to be 2-0 for our Steelers because it is a backup quarterback, Justin Fields. He's checked in. He's getting better. Yes, his, his overall choices and decision-making could be better by throwing the ball earlier, but he's not turning the ball over. That's one thing that hasn't happened. Yeah, there's been a few missed snaps, but at least they're getting um, they're more uh, uh, attention, attentive to it, and they go jump on the ball, and, 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 they, and they're not making fumbles, right? The Steelers aren't turning it over. There's been bad snaps, but nothing coming out of it just yet. My main thing is, though, and I want to go into this right now, because I want to talk about the defense in terms of Robert 2-0 and how excited I'm. I'm so pumped up, right? I was, I'm scrolling through the, the table, and I might try and put it up. Steelers are 2-0 in the division. Browns are 1-1. and so they played a good, good game against the Jaguars. They're zero and two, right? Um, but in terms of like the point difference and, and points against, I'm pretty sure the Pittsburgh Steelers are the second team in the NFL for points against. Now we're 31 points uh, four, but points against was 16. And I scroll down, and the only other team is going to be our, our opponents next next week, which is Jack Harbaugh or John Harbaugh's brother. He's out there, uh, Jim Harbaugh with the Chargers and Herbert, right? And their defense. But we're at home. So you're telling me that we just got two weeks in a row where the Steelers won one zero, they're one and oh, they're the two and oh, they're all pumped up. The defense is on fire, they're top five defense, they're going absolutely insane, they're getting turnovers, they're playing like a brotherhood of steel, and now we get to verse the Chargers two and oh, two and oh, and they have a good defense too. Like, like this is like a prime time matchup, even though it's gonna be one PM. I'm happy with that. So we have points against uh we're not we're second. We are second in the league, points against. Steelers are 16 points against, and the Chargers are first with 13. So if you didn't allow the touchdown, the Steelers could be almost first overall. So second points against. And other teams out there, like you got the, who's this? The Carolina Panthers. Carolina Panthers have scored 13, and they've, they've let in 73. That's terrible. Uh, the Rams have scored 30, let in, let in 67. So there are other teams out there that are doing a really bad job in that sense. Now, I do want to go to as well. Um, like our overall stats of the Steelers, just, just to catch up a little bit on two games. We're 2-0, and oh, got a bit of data we can reflect on and look over some stats, right? So Justin Fields now is two games, uh, 30 for 43, almost 70%, 273 yards, uh, longest 40, one TD and four sacks, but no interceptions. That's the reason why we're 2-0 and oh, because they're, 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 they're managing the game. They're allowing their defense to feed. They're giving you short fields. Calvin Austin's doing really well on the punt return too. And that's why we're winning games because we're not turning the ball over in that sense where you have to go and fling it around everywhere to get uh, put the ball in, in the spot where it doesn't need to be and getting picked off. They're playing good football in that sense. Najee Harris has 37 yards, 139, 3.8. Justin Fields has 84 yards running, 3.8. Joel Warren, 49 yards, 4.5 average. So not the biggest runs, but we have... Uh, the biggest run of 20, 16, 11, and overall 278 and 3.6. So you haven't seen any major, major runs, but they're getting enough yards uh, to get them a chance to be, you know, first down distance or a third down conversion rate, right? So they're doing okay on that sense. Uh, George Pickens has 11 targets, 114, and his biggest one was, was 40. And we had our first touchdown of the year was Darnell Washington as well. But go back to the defense too. Overall sacks, right? You have four sacks so far. Uh, tackle for loss, we have nine in total. Uh, interceptions, we have four. That, that to me, is just saying that this, this defense, a top five defense, and if we're getting slowly better at offense, the Pittsburgh Steelers defense will also get slowly better each and every game. So out there in Steel Nation, I know we're fired up. I get it. If you made this far, you're like nine minutes in. Why is Mike wearing a hoodie? Why is he fired up at his, 
eight thirty, you know, almost eight thirty at night. He still got the um, quarter four. We won the game with two and zero. Oh. This is to me. This is the one of the most enjoyable parts, of course, of the season. We're going week to week. We get to give shout outs to players. We get to see the storylines unfold. We get to see Najee run the rock and run over people. We get to see Minka make tackles. We, we saw Deshaun Elliott hit someone super tough in the backfield. He made like a play of the game. Our defense is playing good football. We should enjoy this 2-0. Of course, if you want to go towards a negative side and, 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 crit, and criticize, you can. I don't stay there. If I if I were to criticize, yeah, offensive line needs to play a bit better in terms of penalties. Yeah, the receivers need to get open. Yeah, we need to see. I was going to say um, for our defense, maybe I would, I'd probably say but our weakest area maybe on the defense could be Benny Bishop giving up certain plays and the communication with that one play from Donnie Jackson and the, rece- uh, the safeties did know what's happening. But I don't live there too long. I come back to 2-1-0. The Steelers are 2-1-0. They went into Atlanta Falcons land, 18-10. Got the W away. That's one win away. They went into Denver in Mile High Stadium where the, the altitude is so crazy and you can't breathe up there. Uh, I've never, I've been to Colorado, never been in the stadium, but actually I've never been running routes there. So, so it's more difficult to play football there. Even though I've heard the interview at TJ Watt said he was like a bit gassed. Our team got the W being 2-0. and o. They can improve. And this is not the scary thing is about this, right? The scary thing is this isn't the Pittsburgh Steelers' best football yet. They are still yet to unleash Warren having a big game or Najee having a big game or Justin Fields having a big game where he throws for 250 or almost 300 yards. We don't know what's going to happen in terms of Russell Wilson or Justin Fields at quarterback. And also in our defense, we haven't seen them run, run back an interception for a touchdown yet or a fumble touchdown, or anything like that. Highsmith played really good today. So did TJ Watt, got a sack each. They're the two two, uh, guys on the outside. Boom, to the quarterback. Bo Nix struggled. He threw two interceptions, threw the ball way too much. They were never really in the game. The Steelers controlled the game. They won it, and they're 2-0. and That's why why I'm super pumped up. Because in this sense, yes, we can go back to the negative and critique and say, we're all terrible, we're all shit, it's all bad, it's all whatever. But you don't live there. And there's also so many good storylines and positive storylines about this team being 2-0. The fact that the Ravens and the and also uh in the standings, the Ravens and the Bengals are both 0-2. So flashback to week one. The Patriots shocked them, shocked the Bengals, and maybe they're not, not as physical as the Patriots because the Patriots ran all, all over them. The Ravens today, uh, I saw bits of the game was Ra- uh, Raiders versus the Ravens. The Raiders got beat by the Chargers in week one, and next minute they're upsetting Lamar Jackson. They're paying all this money towards Lamar Jackson, towards uh, Joe Burrow, towards uh, Deshaun Watson. Yes, they got a W2, so, so, so the Browns, they did well. The Jaguars are a team too. They're meant to be a wild card team. They're zero and two. Even if I go to that, right? And let me go towards the overall standings. Um, yeah, overall standings for, for the teams. So Buffalo Bills are 2-0. Uh, we have Pittsburgh Steelers at 2-0, Texans 2-0, they're a playoff team, Chargers at 2-0, Chiefs at 2-0, possibly two playoff teams, or at least the Chiefs, right? We have Minnesota Vikings with, a, with an upset, they're 2-0. Uh, the Saints are on fire, they've scored 91 points and against 29, they're on fire, they're 2-0, and the Buccaneers are 2-0, radio, and Seattle Seahawks 2-0 as well. And the Cardinals had a big game against the Rams. I know it's early days in terms of it's early days in terms of NFL Week 2, you know, storylines are creating, um, who's who in the zoo. But our defense is keeping us in the game. And if you're walking into Atlanta, you're walking into Denver, and what do they say? You walk walk in your trap, take over your trap, whatever it is. You know, you're walking in and taking over. And the scores, the scores, honestly, you could score another TD, and it, maybe it's more style points, more fantasy points. I don't care. As long as you get the W. And go, going around the league, Bills won 31-10. Uh, Saints upset the the Cowboys 44-19. Buccaneers, I think, upset the Lions. The Packers got their first win with Malik Willis because uh, Love's out. Uh, Jets got their first win over the Titans. I thought I thought uh, Roger was done. Pr- apparently not. So Titans are 0 2. 49 has lost to the, the Vikings. That's an upset. Seahawks got 23 20. Commanders 21 18. Chargers 26 3. Panthers are a dumpster fire. Browns beat the Jaguars. Raiders beat the Ravens. 41 to 10 Cardinals and the Steelers won 13 6. And what is also a current theme, too, is all these scores are different. I think to a certain point, social two points, 
Social media and fantasy football has killed football. Social media is such high expectations for our team to go and get 21 points, 28 points, 35 points. Fantasy football is like, oh, you need to get 500 yards, 400 yards for this. We're watching a football game. We're watching a guy hold the football, run into someone, trying to get as many yards as he can, while the other team's trying to rip their head off. We're watching to, to the defensive line, offensive line go, hammer and tongs go, bang, right in the middle, and then Najee run behind them to get three or four yards. And then a play-action pass for Justin Fields to find uh, Darnell in the uh, in the end zone or find Frymouth or get someone the ball, get Warren the ball on a little um, dump-off pass or a, a half-back screen. We're watching football players hit each other as hard as they can. I'm not too worried about style points. Yeah, style points would be fine. It would make our, our hearts seem a little, little bit less stressed in terms of, oh, we can enjoy the game. But today's game was fun. It was physical. The only thing, only thing fun, wasn't fun about it was, was the 20-something penalties. That really sucked. But Steelers win 13-6. Uh, the Chiefs won 26-25. And the Bears got beat 19-13. So there are different scores all over the shop. And the, the thing is, we're sitting here 2-0. And we should feel very pumped up, very keen to see what happens next. What's going to happen next? Is Justin Fields going to play for the uh, for the, the in Heinz Field in Akershaw Stadium? Are we going to see Russell Wilson come back? Is he going to be healthy? Are we going to see uh, we're going to week off now? So you'll probably see more more run game with Najee and Warren. And Warren played more snaps than last week. Um, is that defense going to get even better and communicate more? The brotherhood is still fighting for one another. Corey Trice high fiving Dante Jackson. TJ Watt, um, they're all high-fiving Patrick Queen. They're all getting around one another. Mink is a leader on defense. This is a really, really, really special team on defense. And yes, we have a hard schedule, but I don't care. And I don't care that the Chargers are 2-0. I don't care if they got Justin Herbert. I don't care anything about that. I care about that our Steelers are 2-0 and they give us a chance to win. So that's why I stay in this, in this frame of like positivity and fired up because our team is playing pretty good football. Not the best. They're playing good football, Steelers football, run the rock, defense. And you know what? They will say the old, the old saying, defense wins championships. Anyway, Steeler Nation, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. I'll probably do another live as well at some stage. This will come out in, well, this is out in the daytime, but it's good. I feel good about the team. I think Deshaun Elliott's playing really good football. I think Keanu Benton's playing good football. I think Nick Herbig, Nick Her Herbig's playing good football. I think our offense can get better. And yeah, we need, we need to score TDs. At least they got one today. They got one TD, two field goals. Chris Boswell now has, what, eight field goals on the season, right? That's 18 points and 16. We're averaging about 16 points a game. You would love to have one more drive and one more touchdown to make it 23 or 24 points a game. 24 to, to six would be fantastic. But it's coming. It's getting, it's getting there. It's getting there. And it's okay to feel good being 2-0. I'll see you guys later.